Hi, I'm Justin Sostan, and I'm here with Joe Walsh. What up? Yasser Matthews. Yo. RJ. What's going on? And we're here to talk about hip hop and the history of hip hop and how it inspires artists today. In 1970s, an underground urban movement known as hip hop began to form in the Bronx. It focused on emceeing over house parties and neighborhood block parties. The first major hip hop DJ was DJ Cool Herc, an 18 year old immigrant who introduced the huge sound system of his native Jamaican to the inner uh, city parties. Using two turntables, he melded percussive fragments from old records with popular dance songs to create a continuous flow of music. Coke LaRock is known for being the first rapper to ever spit rhymes. After teaming up with uh, DJ Cool Herc in 1973, both were recognized as the original founding fathers of hip hop. Rap music was originally underground. New school hip hop was the second wave of hip hop music, originating in 1983 through 1984, with the early records of Run DMC and LL Cool J. The golden age hip hop period was an innovative period between the mid 1980s and the early 1990s. Notable bands included Public Enemy and a tribe called Quest. Gangster rap is a subgenre of hip hop that reflects the violent lifestyles of the inner city American black youth. NWA is the group most frequently associated with the founding of gangster rap. Controversy surrounded Ice T's song Cop Kill. In the West Coast hip hop style, G Funk dominated mainstream hip hop several years. East Coast hip hop in the early 1990s was dominated by the native tongues and artists such as Nas and Notorious B.I.G. In the 1990s, hip hop began to diversify with other regional styles emerging on the national scene, such as Southern rap and Atlanta hip hop. At the same time, hip hop continued to be assimilated into other genres of popular music, an example being Neo Soul. Hip hop became a best selling music genre in the mid 1990s at the top selling music genre by 1999. The popularity of hip hop music continued through the 2000s. Dr. J was an important figure, figure and Eminem was successful. Hip hop influences also found their way increasingly into mainstream pop during this period, mainly uh, the mid 2000s. In addition to mainstream success, the United States also saw the success of alternative hip hop styles such as crunk. The music emphasized beat, emphasized the beats and music more than uh, the lyrics. Starting in 2005, sales of hip hop music in the United States began to severely wane. Uh, during the mid 2000s, an alternative hip hop se secured a place within the mainstream, due in part to the crossover success of artists such as Outkast and Kanye West. In 2016, the term mumble rap was coined by Wiz Khalifa. There is a disagreement over who first rapped in such a style, although its creation has been attributed to rappers such as Gucci Mane, Chief Keef, and most notably Future. Mumble rap has drawn criticism from rap purists. It's often used as a derogatory term in reference to a perceived inconsistency of the artist's lyrics. Oscar Harold of the Cardinal Times stated that mumble rap is misleading arguing that rappers such as Future rely more upon pop melodies and vocal effects, such as auto tune than mumbling. In 2018, Eminem released Kamikaze, an album that called out artists that made mumble rap. The album ultimately made people question the quality of mumble rap. So, now that we talk, well, now that we're done talking about rap, um, let's talk about how it's influencing artists today, based on, you know, the whole mumble rap scene, Joe. Um, well, I feel like there's definitely more diversity in rap. Like you have some rappers that flex, you have some rappers that rap about joking about flexing, you know. There's like, there's just so much you can find out there now. Like who artists do you think is like joking about it? Uh, like Billy Machiavella, you know, rappers that just rap about making bread and stuff like that, yeah. And how do you think, is like the 90s still, you know, in everybody's ear today? Like, do you Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you see people still wearing Tupac shirts and stuff. He's definitely. I'm talking. I'm talking about like the music though. It's like, oh it's well, cool. yeah, music. Oh yeah, of course. Like, no doubt stuff. about it. Yeah, ninety. That's forever gonna be with somebody. Like people gonna always listen to that, but the new school. That's just like people gravitating to that because that's the wave now. So they gonna listen to what's hot right now. But the ninety. That's forever gonna be with like, playlists and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I feel like there is definitely a, a generational gap uh, between like newer artists and, and artists back in the day, but I do feel like uh, uh, like smaller artists they do kind of gravitate towards older rap because they do see it as like uh, a fundamental uh, to everything they do. So I feel like it's a good uh, it's a good mixture between the two because obviously there's people who do it for fun, 
and people would take it like very seriously. Yeah, I feel um, the 90s, it kind of came back in a sense in uh, 2013 with Pro Era. Um, they kind of brought that New York 90s style back. Um, like Capital Steez, Joey Bad, CJ Fly, Kirk Knight, all of them. And then you have, you know, the kind of uh, style where, you know, our future brought, like to just be yourself and expressing all that anger or, you know, all, just all the emotions out and putting it straight into the music. And, you know, artists like that today, how like uh, X and um, Ski Mask, they kind of put a lot more emotion and um, anger into their music and they kind of just let it all speak for itself and people just kind of gravitate towards it. Yeah, I, I do feel like music now is definitely more expressive. Uh, and I feel like that kind of comes from uh, back in like the 90s when, I don't know, they were just talking about everything that was going through, like just in the city and like just living lives. So I feel like through that, it kind of showed everybody that it's it's okay to like express yourself through music and, and people will understand. And they definitely go, they definitely go vibe with it. Yeah, because um, I think that's, that kind of started out with like a tribe called Quest. Like they, they pushed that more, a little like positive vibe towards their music. They, it was, they really weren't talking about, you know, gun, drugs too much. They were kind of talking about girls and parties and just having a good time. And artists today, that's like that, you know, like Kyle, from um, what's the artist like that? The kind of more positive. Like Lil Yachty. Yeah, Lil Yachty. Like, even though he, like he kind of yeah. talks about like, you know, he's making money all the time. He mm -hmm. still pushes that. And there's a couple more artists by this kind of Definitely now. J. Cole. Yeah, J. Cole. Always yeah. raps about positivity. Yeah, though. J. Cole. Yeah. And, you know, when you get uh, to the storytelling part, uh, you know, like Nas. Uh, Meek Mill. Kendrick. Yeah, Kend Kendrick will definitely paint a, a like great a picture, picture mm -hmm. in his music. Mm -hmm. um, some other artists I can think of. Uh, Saba, he's from Chicago. Chance the Rapper. Mick Jenkins, Trapo, he's from, Trapo's from Wisconsin. He's around like our age. Trapo's like, like 22. And he's like, he, he can really paint a picture with his music. And kind of majority of people that's on Dreamville with J. Cole. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they they really got a whole team. And you can just see like they all derive their inspiration from, you know, big rappers like Nas. And even uh, Big L. Big L doesn't get enough credit too. And plus Jay Z is still around. Mm -hmm. And um, he. Now I can I can tell that he really doesn't. I think he's he has like a lot of stuff he still wants to say, mm. but like you can tell like he's not trying. Cause on 444 you can tell he's freestyling the whole time, but it, it fits together. Most definitely. I don't know. Kind of going back to like the generational gap. <clears throat> I feel like artists like them, uh, they are trying to bring back uh, kind of like the the more 90s feel to it, um, because I feel like during like 2016, 2017, music kind of started to become lost. Like more people were doing it just for fun, like, yeah. like artists like Six Nine. They're just they're coming into the, the music industry just to get fame or, or I don't know, just just to push an agenda. Yeah, it's it's, so like, it's a lot of artists like right now that they're just making music just to get put on. Because the industry now they're just gravitating towards most of these hit songs rather than you know people actually listening to something. And I was starting out because uh, like Comethazine. Like he's not a mumble rapper, like you can hear him, but like um, he's more, he kind of started this kind of wave of making like one minute songs. Cause people, uh, their attention span can't, you know, stay on a three minute song or a five minute song. They, they have to hear a very hard beat and hear them rapping about whatever and then that's it. And it's moving on to the next one. What chance the rapper is doing with rap? Putting that little holiness in there. The, like the Christian type yeah, of Yeah, but like it's not like annoying. Like it's not like church music though. Why is that? Because he put that beat to it to make it, yeah. make yeah. it feel groovy. And he's still rapping. Like, what do you think like Kanye is doing now? Um, I mean, I don't know. He's still a goat. Like, like, like what is um, what is new album? No, no, it's new. I did not like Jesus is King, uh, but his old stuff is definitely like some of the best for sure. Um, yeah, I, I do feel like Kanye, he's always going to be a, a, a kind of statue in the game, but uh, I feel like now he's kind of he's kind of losing his way a little bit, yeah. Uh, 
caught him in a social media yeah, trying, to, trying to have people yeah. hear too much of his opinion you know because now you're trying to run for president right. you know and he, he's kind of getting away from the music and like uh, as an artist I don't think you should do that I feel like you should like from an artist that has that much you know, accolades and whatnot you should be working with other artists and keeping that same you know style to everything because it's yeah you know, like rap is always going to change but like you know now we're seeing this shift of like nothing makes sense anymore like no one's talking about anything anymore it's just about money money artists the majority of them artists that's not even the money that's the money for the industry so. yeah i don't know kanye i don't know he definitely can go to show that uh rap can kind of lead you down a, a dark path um he I don't know, he he didn't necessarily like ruin his life, but he just started using the influence he was he was getting from rap to push other agendas that he saw fit. I don't know about I don't know that like supporting Trump, I don't know, trying to run for president, just doing things like that. And he was all basing that off of his rap audience, which I feel like kind of Yeah, I think he's trying him. to make it seem like he's trying to show rappers that like rap is the only thing you can do, you can just get out and do other stuff like being in the government and stuff like that. But I mean, other other artists have been like getting away from them, like just rapping exactly. general. Because I mean, like people like for, investing into like building and stuff like on the real estate and stuff. But like yeah. his path, the way he's doing, he's trying to make it seem like it's something bigger. But like, right, everybody can't do everything. And like that. Um, yeah. For example, like you know, one artist that that can really go on forever is Donald Glover. He started out as a writer. Now he's directing. Now he's acting. He has his own TV show. I feel like, you know, artists can do whatever they want, to be honest. But we're going to wrap it up right now. I'm your host, Justin, and Joe, Yasir, and RJ on it. And we'll see you next time.